So we've been debating the plight of American manufacturing for years, but unfortunately the issue is more complex than we often think it is, or than we wish it were. While its underpinnings are a complicated web of cost calculations, the Made in America argument also has a consumer side to it. Our appetite for cheap goods means that America buys a lot of stuff that's made elsewhere. And in order to tip the scales in our favor, we need to be willing to consider items produced domestically, even if it means the price point is a bit higher. Because in the end, Americans want to buy American, right? Well, one company is putting this concept to the test, and not just to prove a point. You may remember American Apparel, the Los Angeles-based retailer that faced many scandals over its lifetime before drifting into bankruptcy and being purchased earlier this year by Canadian-based apparel company Gildan Activewear. After merging the two companies, Gildan has tried to integrate the American Apparel brand into its wholesale and e-commerce business, but wants to cater to two types of customers. Those who wish to stay true to the American Apparel brand and buy made in the USA goods, and the other customers who just wish to buy Gildan branded products which are often produced elsewhere. So according to Bloomberg, shoppers have the choice of clicking one of two options, made in the USA or produced overseas. But the catch here is that the made in USA option will cost the buyer up to 25% more. It's unlikely we'll actually learn anything from this. Gildan probably won't share the results, and if they did, they may not be relevant. American Apparel has brand power, and perhaps its buyers don't see those products as apples to apples with Gildan's activewear. Whatever the results, we do know that the deck is actually stacked against made in the USA consumer goods, because Americans are actually unlikely to spend more money on something that's made in the USA. According to an AP poll conducted last year, when offered the choice between a pair of $87 jeans made in America and a pair of $50 jeans made elsewhere, two thirds of respondents said they'd buy the lower priced jeans. In fact, even people in households earning more than $100,000 a year were no more likely to spring for the higher priced jeans. I'm Anna Wells, and this is IEN Now.